Welcome to another Esther Spring Workshop, Your Grace Can Help, Our Journey Together. Hope you guys have been doing well this week. Also, thank you for all your continuous support on all our weekly workshops. We really appreciate you guys and hope that we can continue to bring more tips, more knowledge on how you can take care of your skin at home. Alright, today we're going to be talking about the importance of using sunscreen how it can benefit us in protecting our skin health. Okay. First of all, let me introduce myself in case it's your first time here. I'm your host, Biling Chin, educator here at Esther Spring. So today, I have a special guest with me to help share more about sunscreens. So she has many years of experience in the skincare industry and has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to how to take care of your skin. All right, let's welcome our speaker for today, Elaine Hain. Hi, good morning everyone and happy Saturday. I'm Elaine Hain, Education here at Esther Spring. Thank you so much for joining us today. As I know, we have a lot of Esther Spring Workshop fans here and I'm so excited to share with you the importance of sunscreen, even though we are staying at home. So Elaine, are we ready? Yes. <laughs> Okay, the last few months, we've been spending working from home, right? So I've noticed my skin getting a little bit more dull nowadays. Even though every week, I still apply my face mask, uh, exfoliate my skin. So what about you guys here with us? Um, do you experience the same thing? Do you also experience more dull skin now that we're spending more time at home? Do let me know in the chat box. Oh, for yourself, Elaine. Do you also feel yes. like your skin is getting dark? <laughs> yes, for me as well. Sometimes uh, I feel I look like a zombie as well. Oh. <laughs> I think now that we're working from home, right? Our only access to the outside world is through our screen. Like when we're working, we're also looking at the screen. When we, are, when we finish work, we're still looking at the screen because we're watching our shows, right? Like our K-dramas, <laughs> all of that. And then when we're catching up with friends, we're also looking at them through the screen because we're using video call. So everything is done through the screen. Yeah, I can see some of the answers in the chat box. Yes. So why do I bring this up? Okay, normally we apply sunscreen as the last step in our skincare routine, right? Then that's because after, uh, after we get ready in the morning, we're heading out, we're doing our daily activities like uh, we are driving, we're sitting in traffic, so that's all under the sun. But what about now? When we are at home, does that mean that we don't need to apply sunscreen? Today, we're going to be talking about the most frequently asked question by our customers. Do I need to apply sunscreen even when I'm indoors? Hmm, what do you guys think? Is it needed? Yes, I can see some. Yes, it's needed. <laughs> okay, so bringing it back to dull skin. Why is it when we are looking at our skin now, sometimes it looks more dull? I have two reasons for you. Number one, the UV rays are still coming in through our windows. And number two, we are getting exposed to all this blue light from all our devices constantly. So these are things that we don't feel, but they are still rays that are harmful to our skin. So just because we don't feel the heat on our skin does not mean that the harmful effects are not there. Okay, let's take a closer look at why sunscreen is such an important step in maintaining our skin health. Over to you, Elaine. Yes, the sun, we all know that it gives us a natural vitamin D. But do you enjoy the vitamin D? <laughs> we heard so much about the side effect of the sun. But in fact, do you know that morning sun is good? It is more gentle and it is best to have the natural vitamin D from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Firstly, it helps to boost our immunity, especially now. We really need to strengthen ourselves, boost up our immunity so that we can fight against the COVID-19, right? <laughs> Secondly, it helps to improve our blood circulations. Imagine you stand under the sun a couple of minutes, under the sun under the hot sun and you will be start to sweat you know it increases your body temperature therefore it increases the blood circulation in our body it helps to strengthen your bone and also it helps to boost energy and promote better sleep but if you have difficulty in getting a good sleep 
it is great to have some natural vitamin D. The sun also helps to lift our mood. Okay, why do I say that? It's because when you go to the beach, even though you know the sun is very hot, but you, you, when your mood is lifted and you don't really care much, you really enjoy so much under the sun. Vice versa, when the day is gloomy, we automatically feel that it is more dull and less energetic. And we can use the word to describe ourselves lazy, you know, sometimes I feel very lazy. And raining day is, is the best time to sleep. But when the sun is out there and it's a beautiful day, we automatically feel happier. Sun really helps to lift our moods. Well, knowing the great benefits of sun, but always keep in mind that moderate sunlight is good, okay, but not too much. Many of us may think that staying at home means there's no sun exposure. In fact, it is not true, you know, it's not true. The natural sunlight, especially UVA, will shine through your window. Unless your house is fully covered with curtains, no sunlight at all. Do we do that? Sometimes or you have no windows in your house. <laughs> <laughs> when you're doing your laundry, you will still expose yourself to UVB. Additional tips for you. When you want to hang dry your laundry, it's good to do it before 10 a.m. and to collect it after 4 p.m. Why? Because the strongest sun is actually from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. UVB is super duper active. It, you might get burned easily. All right, UVA, UVB. These are the two common UV rays that you can always heard about. UVA, we always call it as UV aging. It can penetrate into our dermis and epidermis. So where is the epidermis? Wow, it sounds like a big word, right? So epidermis is actually the skin, the outmost layer of the skin that you can feel and you can touch right now. And dermis is actually just one layer below the epidermis, or we always call it as real skin. All right. As mentioned earlier in the UVA can penetrate through glass and window and it will go into the dermis and cause your skin aging and wrinkling. Right? UVB, we call it as UV burning or we call it as bronzing. Bronzing means it will make your skin darker. Huh? It's mostly on the epidermis which is the outmost layer of the skin. It has more energy when you compare with UVA and so it may cause uh, more immediate damage like sunburn and hope. And the most active time is from 10 to 4 p.m. Um, it is a reason why you get burned easily, especially during this time. All right, let's take a guess. Do you think that UV ray is a cool ray or a hot ray? Some cold, yeah, some cold, cold and hot. Cold, <laughs> hot, cold and hot in between. Okay, let me share with you. Thank you so much for answering. In fact, UV ray is a cool ray. Why do I say that? Because let me quote you an example. People who love to enjoy their skin during winter, they feel cool, but why they still get burnt? It is because on the mountain, you are exposed more to the amount of UV ray and also together with the reflections of the snow. There is a reason why during winter, you may get burned as well. Now, think back in Malaysia. When we walk outside to take away food, to tap out our food, you know, we automatically will find some shades. When you step out of the shade, you immediately feel heat on your skin. And if you spend a bit longer in the direct sunlight, your skin will start to look red especially the rosy cheeks here. In the first example, winter is cold, but you still get burned. In Malaysia, it is hot, but same thing, you get burned. Yeah, I always experience <laughs> this when I go and pick up my food outside, right? If there is no shade, then you have to like wait outside for your food. Then first, of course, you will feel the heat on your skin. Then slowly, you'll get more and more red. <laughs> yeah, the heat you can feel is actually the infrared ray on Earth. Do you know that you are not getting burned from the heat you feel? 
but it's actually the UVB in the sunlight which cause damage to your skin. So the difference between these two actually, one you can feel the heat and the other one you may not feel but both still burn your skin. So even if you don't feel heat on your skin, it doesn't mean that you are not exposed to UV damage. Yeah, I think some of us might think it's not hot so I don't need to wear sunscreen. Like if the day is gloomy, mm-hmm. then you think, oh, I don't need to wear sunscreen today. But you are wrong. UV rays have no heat but yet they are still there and they are still the main ones that cause damage to our skin. So Elaine, what about UVA? What damage does it cause to our skin? UVA is slightly longer wavelength and it is can enter in deeper to the skin. It can reach up to the dermis. In dermis, there are a lot of activity happening here. Like our collagen productions, it will destroy or it might cause our collagen breakdown. Now, we also cannot feel UV airway, but this is the main bad guy. is causing the long-term damage to our dermis layer and speed up the process of premature aging. You might not see the effect immediately, but after a few years, all that damage is collected in your skin and slowly you see more wrinkle, fine lines, sagging skin, sagging texture, you know, sagging skin texture, and also pigmentations as well. Other than the UVA, UVB, next will be the blue light. So blue light is part of the visible light spectrum and it's also known as high energy visible light. Since it is visible light, the human eye can see. The high energy light has its potential to harm the skin because of the free radical generations, which causes oxidative stress on our skin cells. Now, I think some of you already know about blue light may affect our eyes. How about our face? No, our skin. As the blue light entering into the skin, it can penetrate deeper than the UVA as you can see on the chart. Okay, not only it can cause free radical damage, but it can also lead to hyperpigmentations and also damage the connective tissue in our dermis layer to speed up the aging process. Yeah, so to sum it up, in Malaysia, we see the sun shining brightly every day and there's definitely some benefits to sunlight, like improving our mood and boosting up our vitamin D intake. But Prolonged exposure to the sun may cause pigmentation, sunspots and also other signs of sun damage if your skin is not well protected. So the culprit for all of this is the UV rays and blue light that we are constantly being exposed to. Not only will UVB tan your skin, but UVA can damage your collagen inside the dermis layer and cause fine lines and wrinkles to appear. Okay, since now we're clear on why we need to apply sunscreen, how do they actually work? Yeah, in the picture, you can see that if your skin is not protected without sunscreen, the sun uh, UV rays can come in straight into our skin. But if it's protected with a sunscreen, then it blocks it from entering into our skin and it protects it from all those harmful effects. Alright, to let you guys know, there are two types of sunscreens on the market. So what are the differences between those two types? In simple terms, the two kinds are one reflects UV rays and one absorbs the UV rays and protects our skin. So these two types usually come with different textures depending on the product itself. But which one is the best for you? Now this will really depend on your own skin condition and also your texture preferences of which one you prefer for your skin. So after you've chosen uh, which type of UV protection, now the question is, how much SPF do you need? To answer the question, how much SPF do I need? Well, it depends on your daily activity. If you are more exposure to the sun or blue light, then you may need a higher SPF and reapply your sunscreen. It is best recommended to use a sunscreen with at least SPF 30, which it provides you about 90 7% of block from the UVB ray. And SPF 50 sunscreen provide 98% block from the UVB ray. 
When used correctly, sunscreen with SPF value between SPF 30 and 50, it offers a sunburn protection, even though, even for those people who are more sensitive to sunburn. Then you may have a question in mind. If my moisturizer already has SPF 30 and my sunblock is SPF 50, does it mean that I have SPF 80? So the answer is no, 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 no. You can only get the highest one, which is the SPF the 50 protections. Then you'll be asking, hmm, how long can it last? Let me give you an example. It depends on your natural skin defense. If you go under the sun with your bare face and after 10 minutes, you feel burnt, meaning we use, we calculate as 10 minutes, you multiply by the SPF you use. Okay, example, 10 minutes, you times SPF 30, equivalent to 300 minutes. So it's approximately of five hours of protection into the skin. But you may need to reapply it because if you go under the sun for not five hours, uh, five minutes you will start to sweat and you tend to wipe off your stress, your, your sweats. So the moment you wipe it off, and then you need to reapply mm -hmm. your sunscreen. Another question, how much do I amount that I need to apply on my skin? For face and neck, it's approximately of half teaspoon. So remember, reapply as and when you need. Yeah, so after talking so much about why sunscreens are important and then how much to apply, what SPF to use, now it's time to give you some solutions to protect your skin. There's a wide range of different sunscreens that we have in the entire Dermalogica range. So you can definitely find a specialized sunscreen for your personalized concern. Okay, so when you're looking, you're browsing through the different sunscreens, you will see that there is SPF and then there is broad spectrum. So what is broad spectrum? Okay, just now we already understand that SPF is the protection against UVB rays. So broad spectrum means that this sunscreen protects from both UVA and UVB. So you can be sure that it's protecting you from all those main harmful rays from the sun. These options include uh, both types that I mentioned earlier, which was the ones that reflect and the ones that absorb the UV rays. And they all come in various textures and also benefits to suit your skin needs and your preferences. Additionally, some also uh, will act as a moisturizer, giving it two in one usage. Okay, so what is so special about Dermalogica sunscreens is that not only do they protect your skin to UV rays, but they also have targeted benefits for different skin concerns. They also contain antioxidant ingredients to help boost up that overall skin protection. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Alright, so the first one I have for you is our fit invisible physical defense. So we've been talking so much about how blue light can harm your skin, right? So here is the solution for you. This invisible physical defense is our dermalogical sunscreen that can protect from blue light. So normally, uh, with this kind of sunscreen, this kind of physical sunscreens, they tend to have a reputation that it can be thick and hard to spread out on the skin and it leaves that white residue on the skin. But this one will be different. This invisible weightless defense blends easily onto the skin and what is inside is the non-nano zinc oxide. So with this technology, this is, the, this is the ingredient that allows you to blend it easily into the skin and also it is the one that helps to block those blue light rays. So you can say goodbye to thick white residue when you apply it on the skin because it's very easy to blend once you apply it. So the, besides the added blue light protection, this also helps to soothe the way the effects of environmental pollution. So we have antioxidant ingredients in here like green tea, which will help to defend against free radical damage. Mm -hmm. This one is ideal for all skin types, including sensitive skin. 
So now this is the only dermalogical sunscreen that claims blue light protection. So it is the best option if you're spending every day long hours in front of all your devices. Do give this one a try. The other one uh, that we have is Prisma Protect. So this one is SPF 30. This one is great if you are facing more dull skin concerns, you want to brighten up your overall complexion. This one will be the best choice to try out. So it does three main things, defend, hydrate, and boost. So defend, it's defending you against all those UV rays, free radical damage, and pollution as well. Hydrate, it hydrates your skin to make it visibly smooth all day long and it boosts up your skin's natural luminosity so that it's more radiant and more glowing. So in here, it contains technology to give you light activated defense. So what does that mean? <laughs> this one, it helps to, it is activated by visible light. So through this, it can help to boost up that radiance in your skin. This is a multitasking moisturizer. So it's an SPF slash moisturizer that gives you broad spectrum defense. Additionally, there are also moisture magnets inside our advanced moisture magnets to hold the hydration in your skin to make sure that your skin is hydrated and smooth all day. So if you guys are looking for more luminous skin, give this one a try. Alright, so some of us, maybe we're not just facing dull skin, maybe we're facing dark spots. Like what I mentioned earlier, I have some pigmentation on my cheek area. So the perfect one to try out would be our Pure Light SPF 50. This one helps to target pigmentation while also protecting your skin from UV exposure. So this is an advanced daytime broad spectrum moisturizer that helps to shield your skin from all those pigment inducing UV rays. When you squeeze it out, it is a medium weight cream and it also contains red and brown algae to help balance out your skin tone. In here, there's also hyaluronic acid to hold on to that hydration and hydrate your skin all day long. So with this, you're not only protecting your skin from UV exposure, but it also helps to brighten up dark spots. If you have more mature skin, you might be facing more skin aging concerns. So this one will be the best option for you. So this is a broad spectrum moisturizer, Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50. So this helps to combat the appearance of skin aging. This medium weight daily moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF also contains antioxidant ingredients. So this one contains white tea, which also helps to improve the appearance of photo-aged skin. The benefits you have is that it provides long-lasting hydration and a critical protection against UV rays. All those harmful UV rays, you really need to protect our skin. And it also helps to control the triggers that lead to skin aging. And when you apply it, it blends easily and smoothly onto your skin. Solar Defense Booster, it is a, in a booster category. It is a very unique product where you can use the Solar Defense Booster before your moisturizer. It enhances with antioxidants of vitamin C and vitamin E. It helps to improve our overall skin smoothness and also provide you the soft feeling after application. It defends against skin aging free radicals as well. So you may use this on its own for maximum protections of SPF 50, or you may mix the Solar Defend Booster to power up in your moisturizer or even in your foundations for UV defense because of this broad spectrum sunscreen for all skin conditions. If you are looking for something lightweight for sun protections, this will be the one that suitable for you. Yes, don't forget the eye needs protections too. Many of us may neglect our eye. Here we have an eye care that comes with sunscreen protections. It helps in brightening, smoothening, and give you eye protections. With mild AHA, lactic acid helps to retexturize your eye contour area that target to minimize the fine lines, reduce the appearance of puffiness, and also it helps to lighten your dark eyes of course. And also it's a chemical-free sunscreen that helps to shield against further damage.
All right. So thank you so much for sharing all your information about skin and about sunscreen and why it's so important uh, to protect our skin. So I also hope you guys now can see that there are so many different sunscreens and you can see which one is most suitable for your skin concern. So thank you so much, Elaine. So even while we're at home now, we need to protect our skin with the right sunscreen, especially if you're exposed to long hours in front of our computer screens. Okay, number two, sunscreens are your best anti-aging product. Okay, why do I say that? Because sunscreens help to prevent the breakdown of collagen in our dermis layer, which can lead to skin aging, wrinkles, fine lines, all of that. So remember to start applying your sunscreen early. And thirdly, Dermalogica sunscreens stand out from others because they not only protect us from UV rays, but they also have additional benefits. So they can definitely fully enhance your skin health and also give you protection. So do get in touch with your preferred Esther Spring Center. If you're not sure which one to get for yourself, they'll be able to help you out with this. Alright, do log in into our Facebook page to book the one-to-one -one online consultations and our skincare therapists are happy to assist you which will be the perfect sunscreen products for your skin needs. Remember to follow us on our social media pages to be updated with all the latest events and workshops that are happening here on, at Esther Spring. Okay, so thank you again everyone for joining us this morning and I'm wishing you guys a safe and happy weekend and i'll see you guys next week bye 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 enjoy your weekend and see you again bye bye